Hmm. How about that? I misspelled mom. Hey there, folks. Santee from the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got more mail. Just saw your video on education. How about one on tattoos or even hairstyles? Rick. My dear tattoo. Hmm. Well, that's a good idea, Rick. We'll do one on tattooing today, and then next week we'll do one on hairstyles. Thanks a lot. The art of tattoos has been around since about 12,000 BC. As far as the Old West goes, Tattooing among Native Americans was often performed as a religious ritual or to keep track of how many enemies each warrior had killed. Martin Hildebrandt was a German immigrant who started his career as a tattooist in 1846. Soldiers from both sides of the Civil War were getting tattoos, probably as a rite of passage or to commemorate a particular battle. Martin was welcomed into their camps, where he provided images of military insignias or names of sweethearts. By 1870, he established the first tattoo studio in New York City. His daughter, Nora, being among one of the very first customers. Lydia, the tattooed lady. Back then, they wouldn't have had access to the wide variety of colors that we have now, nor would the conditions be very sanitary. Which one of you fellers has a back team? Tattooing began with pins and ink, but by the 1880s, artists were beginning to use machines to do the job. Sam O'Reilly patented the first tattoo machine in 1891. All of Oatman's family was besieged by Indians during their westward excursion. All but three children were killed. One escaped, one died in captivity, and poor little Olive was traded to the Mojave tribe. Upon her rescue, many believe the Indians tattooed her chin as a mark of ownership. In fact, the Mojaves believed that a person without tattoos was not accepted into the afterlife. Well, therein lies another episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, before we go, I want to give a shout out to Batjack JW, who's been very inspiring and very helpful to me when learning how to do this YouTube stuff. So, thanks, Batjack. If you get a chance, go check out his channel. Man ought to do what he thinks is best. Till next time, have a happy new year. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Hmm. But love is all that matters.